to begin, I invite you to pause this video for a brief reflection. A talking head is someone who does all of the talking with no breaks or activities. Why strive to blend the talking head lesson format with student-centered active learning? Second, what are the goals of using Zoom meetings? How will you keep learning outcomes in mind while making decisions about how to use Zoom features? On this slide, I have provided in chart form a summary of the basic features of Zoom for providing remote lessons. Faculty, as hosts, have access to a microphone, a camera, and screen sharing features for delivering lessons. Students, as participants, also have access to these features. Both faculty and students may use the group chat, quick feedback, back buttons, and annotate features. Only faculty, as hosts, can create polls. Faculty can adjust to control how students use these tools. This video will briefly cover how these Zoom features may be used for remote lesson delivery. First, screen sharing and camera sharing. In combination with the faculty's camera and microphone, screen sharing allows faculty to share with students a full desktop or screen, a single window containing a web page, PowerPoint slides, Word document, PDF, or any other app, a whiteboard and, or and a blank screen, and content on an iPad or iPhone, including tablet drawings. Faculty may show one or two screens and use one or two cameras to provide seamless, innovative presentations and demonstrations. Simple presentation examples may include delivering a slideshow, discussing an infographic, chart, or table, sharing a video clip, audio recording, or music clip, solving a visual problem on a whiteboard, and showing an assignment submission procedure on Econestoga or team sites. The Zoom group chat is a text-based chat feature that may be used to send messages publicly to all students or privately to one student at a time, to ask the class for written ideas, opinions, and comments, to provide activity instructions, video and web page hyperlinks and other files, and to collect questions that students may have. Most students will likely be familiar with using the chat tool. Zoom chat is also useful for large classes and as an alternative means of communicating uh, by students and if Zoom features are unavailable or if students are uncomfortable using those other features. Zoom chats, both public and private, may be saved for after the meeting. Quick feedback buttons are located in the participants tab. These buttons may be used for audience response, particularly in large groups or in a short time frame, to gain students focus, to poll opinions, to conduct reviews of a prior lesson, and to conduct formative assessments of learning. Quick feedback can promote attention and engagement throughout the remote meeting. Here are some ideas for the quick feedback buttons for student responses. Raise your hand if you can hear me. The reactions buttons allow students to celebrate or give a thumbs up to what they hear and what they see and automatically disappear after five seconds. Zoom polls provide another way to gain student attention for opinions and to provide formative assessments. Uh, they can be delivered ahead of time in the Zoom portal, and unlimited polls may have between two and 10 options per question. The types of polls are that you can make one choice or make multiple selections. Faculty can show poll responses to the class and save all responses in an Excel file. The same Zoom poll may be delivered multiple times within the same meeting, for example, to compare pre and post lesson responses. Examples of instructions for one answer poll questions include choose the correct answer, choose the best option, indicate your preference. Examples of instructions for a multiple answer poll include choose two of your favorite, choose which statements are true, select all that apply. And finally, the annotate tool allows participants to draw directly on the Zoom screen. Drawing tools include text, line, and shape drawing stamps, and spotlight arrows. 
annotate may be used to highlight or draw attention to part of the screen during lesson delivery, to facilitate a check-in, opinions, or brainstorm activities with students, or to give students some free time for creative drawing. Screenshots of the annotations may be saved to the faculty's device. Note that not all devices have annotation as a feature. First, what the lesson delivery control feature might seem readily usable for you and which ones are going to take some practice. Second, which strategies for gaining focus and asking for feedback will be important in your lesson? How will you incorporate these features into your lesson?